Today we're gonna check out the wealthiest and the poorest neighborhoods in Guatemala City. We're kicking it off with a Uber Moto. We're going to Ciudad Cayela, wealthiest neighborhood in Guatemala City. Ah, but, but, the best. Uh, it's the best. You heard it here first. Thanks, Danny. It's extremely beautiful. Awesome. ¿Qué es esto? A church. Church. Perfecto. Gracias, Danny. Nice to see you. Chocalo cinco. Already, I can feel the difference up here. It doesn't even feel like I'm in Guatemala City anymore. This is beautiful up here. <laughs> I mean, look at that statue. Place is like a little oasis. It's gorgeous. So quiet, safe, there's kids running around. Everybody just seems happy. In all my travels through Central and South America, this is definitely the safest neighborhood I feel like I've been in. They started construction on the neighborhood here about 15 years ago, and it only really became usable uh, 12 years ago. So that's interesting, very, very new. It's probably gonna be the best neighborhood to high five in that I can find. Hey. Hola. Apparently the restaurants are crazy, so I've gotta check those out. I found this nice little rooftop with some live music, good food. Doesn't get much better than this. It's really interesting to see this type of neighborhood in a place like Guatemala City, just because of the preconceived notions I had. I'm excited to check out the other neighborhood and see how they compare. I met a guy at a bar last night. I asked him, I was like, hey, is there a neighborhood that might give a good juxtaposition from Ciudad Cayela? And he goes, oh, I got a neighborhood, but I gotta bring you there. First, I just gotta meet up with this guy and he's gonna lead the way. My unofficial guide of the other side. <laughs> so this is where the guy told me to meet him. This is cool, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Welcome to Guatemala. Gracias, Chocarlo Cinco? Okay. This. ¿Cómo estás, amigo? ¿Cómo estás? Cristian, gracias. Gracias por decirme venir aquí. Es muy interesante. ¿Quieres dar una vuelta? ¿Caminamos? Sí, sí. Perfecto. Ok. Mucho gusto. Hasta luego. We've met up with our friend Christian here. He's going to show us around. He's going to take us to a couple of the other neighborhoods. ¿A qué hora pasa la procesión? Como cuatro y media. Cuatro y media. Ok, dale. Bueno, no sé si vos vas a estar todavía. Necesito mirar. Creo que es importante, ¿no? Es importante. Sí. Okay. Uh, yeah, totally bien. Just enjoying a couple beers. Getting to meet Christian's uncle. Tío de Christian. This is his mother's place up there on the third floor. And we got to meet his uncle and have some beers, which was pretty cool. We're out for a little tour of Zona Uno. Zone one. We're gonna cross over to the bad side briefly. We've got our guide Christian to show us the way. Pretty much once we cross this street here, we've entered. I'm gonna put this camera on the chest just to keep the hands free. Hey. Interesante. <laughs> Lots of little rooms. There was even little bars set up in those rooms. Lots of people. Seemed like a well-traveled area. Uh, I don't know, it is quite the contrast. Ahora la fila? Vamos a buscar a la procesión? Yeah, la procesión, ah, ah, ah. vamos. Better than Cayala, no? Yes, yes, <laughs> way better than Cayala. This is the reality, the reality in Guatemala. Este es la verdad ciudad. Coming back to the procession, they use wood shavings to create these spectacles. Overall, just had the best day. Running into that procession was super cool. Checking out the different neighborhoods. I loved it. I love Guatemala City. Thanks for sticking around.